Greetings, first grade tigers. I'm Ms. Woods, and I'm excited to have the opportunity to read to you today. A cute little Christmas story, The Day That Santa Got Sick, story written by Deanne Samuels. On the day before Christmas, Santa got sick. Mrs. Claus made him some hot tea with honey, and he stayed in bed, sniffling and coughing and sneezing all day. Oh no, thought Santa, I've never missed a Christmas day. He pondered and wondered what to do in all the different languages that he knew, but no solution came to mind. So he asked Mrs. Claus, Coretta dear, who will drive my sleigh tonight? Oh no, said Mrs. Claus. Rollicking reindeer, said Rudy, who heard Santa as he passed by his room. Bouncing bells, said the elves. Why don't we ask our helpers, said Mrs. Claus. Fantastic idea, said Santa. Maybe we can find a hardworking elf to do the job. Mrs. Claus made the big announcement on the toy room floor. The elves clapped, the reindeer leapt, and the snowman sprang with joy. What an exciting chance this was going to be for everyone. Rudy Reindeer was first in line. Okay, Rudy, said Santa, I'm going to ask you just one question. Rudy nodded his head. How would you place all the gifts around the Christmas tree? Rudy looked at his hooves. Oh no, he didn't have fingers. How would he open up the sack? Sorry, Santa, said Rudy in a sad voice. So Rudy and all of the other reindeer had to get out of line. The snowman who guarded the North Pole was the next one to step up to Santa. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Hello, Santa, he replied. My question for you is, how would you deliver the toys to all the hot countries like Jamaica, Japan, Thailand, Ethiopia, and Ecuador? A frozen tear slid down the snowman's face. Oh, Santa, he wailed. I wouldn't be able to do that. I would melt clean away and he too walked out of the line. Now the only ones left were the elves. Elvin the elf stepped up to Santa's couch. Okay, Elvin, how would you know which little girl or boy should get a present? Elvin felt his stomach give a strange turn. Most people didn't know this, but elves couldn't read. They were extraordinary toy makers but they hadn't had time to go to school. So all of the elves also had to leave the line. All of them but one, hmm. I suppose I could lead your sleigh this night, said Coretta Claus. But what about me? Whispered the little girl elf. The Clauses looked around and saw Ella Elf, who they hadn't noticed before. I know how to read, Ella said. I can help with the list of girls and boys. Everyone in the room looked on in anticipation. Of course you can help with the names, Mrs. Claus said excitedly. I will carry the sack and we will both deliver the presents together. All of Santa's helpers were so relieved that Christmas wouldn't be canceled this year. That night, the snowman and all the elves helped pack up the sleigh. Ella Elf made sure the list of girls and boys was organized, and Mrs. Claus hooked up the reindeer for the long night ahead. Ella's heart was filled with rainbows and butterflies. She would be going on an amazing adventure with Mrs. Claus, all because she had learned how to read. Santa waved a hopeful goodbye 
as the sleigh took off into the dark starry sky. Mrs. Claus and Ella delivered gifts to Johnny and Deshaun, to Ming Shu and Bo, to Jomo and Jiju, and to Doria and Dorita. And finally, the sleigh returned to the North Pole early, early the next morning. Santa's heart burst with pride when he saw that Ella and Mrs. Claus had delivered all the gifts. Amazing, shouted the elves. Fantastic, roared the snowmen. From that time on, Mrs. Claus and Ella Elf travel with Santa every Christmas and forevermore, when you look into the sky on Christmas Eve, you may see Santa, Coretta, and Ella guiding the sleigh into the night. The end. The day Santa got sick.